Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So recently I went to an event and I saw a bunch of people sharing their information using QR codes and it got me thinking, is it possible to do this using Python? Because I searched online and there are some tools where you can in add in your information and they'll generate a QR code for you. But the good news for us is we can actually do this using just some simple Python code. And I'll show you guys how to do this today. So let's get started. The first thing is import QR code. We will use this module to generate the QR code. And then we will import CV2 to read the QR code because I'll also sh show you in this video how we can use Python to also re read a QR code. Now, I'll also import uh, from pill import image because I want to show you the QR code. So once it's generated, I'll sh display it to you so that you can take out your phones and you can scan it and you will be able to see the information on your phone as well if you want to. So we will create a variable called fpath. This is where I will save my QR code. Uh, so I'll just call it test uh, qr.png. This is where the QR code will be saved. And I'll just uh, make some dummy data. So for example, the name is um, Tiber. And uh, the email is just, let's say, test at gmail.com. And let's say we add in a phone number. So it's just uh, a bunch of numbers. Uh, of course, here you can add in whatever information you want. Uh, so after this, we will put this data into our QR code. So we create a variable called m. Uh, QR code has a function called make, and we'll just pass in the data into the make function, and that's it. We have our QR code. We will use the save function to save the QR code in fpath, and our QR code is done. It's that simple. And I'll also use the open function in image as an fpath because I want to show it to you guys. So I'll use a show function. And uh, this will display the QR code, which we have generated here. And I'll, I also will show you how to read it. So CV2 uh, has I'm read, we'll pass an fpath for it to read the image. And we'll create a class object. Uh, so CV2 has a class called QR code detector. So uh, we will use this class object to call another function called detect and decode. This function will help us to read the image. We pass in the image as the parameter and it will return some information to us in data, but we just want the text. So we just take the, uh, the first element, which is returned to us. So that's it. Um, we create it, we create the QR code, uh, this one is just for the tutorial. I'll just display the QR code. And here I am reading the QR code. So let's run it. So as you can see here, this is your QR code. And uh, you can take out your phones, uh, scan it, and you will be able to see that you can actually see the data uh, on your uh, using your phone when, once you scan it. So all your information is inside this QR code, which is quite useful, I think. Uh, and I'll close this, and you can see that the program itself has also been able to read the information and print out the information for you. So I'll just go through it quickly. We import all the modules. We create a path to store the QR code. We have our data and we use the make function to create the QR code, save function to save it. And this is uh, just uh, showing the QR code for display for you guys. And if you want to read it, uh, read the QR code, you can use the class QR code detector. There's a function called detect and decode, which we used to read the QR code information. So I think this um, piece of code is quite useful. I mean, next time you uh, people want your information, for example, you're in a seminar or something, you can just put your information in a QR code, just ask them to scan it and they will have your information. So I think it's uh, quite useful and I hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you did, please uh, like and share the video. If you, if you have any questions, you're welcome to comment below. And uh, subscribing to my channel really helps me out. So thank you very much, and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.